welcome to Christmas with Crystal. Today we're making clothes. I don't know why I just sang that. And I look like Crystal Corn Hands. Okay, let's go now. So the first corn we're going to make is with this piece of paper. This is a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock from Martha Stewart Collection. We're going to turn it over and I want to use this compass to make the corn. But this compass reaches right here and because I want my cone to be bigger I'm gonna make a compass so let me show you how to make a compass now you're gonna take a pen or a pencil get some string you're gonna take the amount of string that you need to make the size compass that you want to make cut it tie the string onto your pen or pencil I'm just using a pen here because I want to and I like my flamingo pen so you tie in a really, really, really strong knot. So you tie it once, and then you're gonna tie it twice. Take off the top, and we've made a compass. The design of this paper is very light here, or there's no design up here, and then there's a sort of a saturation there. So I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna use this, where there's no design, as the top of my compass. I'm gonna put my hand like this and stop it here. And then I'm going to start trying to keep my hand as sturdy as possible and just do this. And now I'm going to cut that out. Now I have my piece of paper for my cone. What I'm going to do is take another piece, use this one as a template and mark it up on it like this. Draw the line and cut this one out. Now what's cool about this is if you want a miniature cone, you could actually make one with the rest of this 12 by 12 paper here by using your compass. So I'm going to mark this up with this paper and I'm going to cut both of them at the same time. Okay, so I have pre-cut a whole bunch of cones here. So let's start putting this together. Um, you're making this into a cone, just like so and then sticking it down. I'm going to add a little bit of glue, fold it, and then come down and stick it down like so. Put a little dab of glue. Now, if you have an opening like this on top here, that is okay. It's because that's where the seam is. So you're never going to show the side of the cone, to be honest with you. It's always going to be displayed like this. Look at that. Look how cute that is. We're gonna put it here and we're gonna work on this one now this one I had a little snafu pulling my paper out of the paper pad and it ripped so if your paper does rip that is fine what you want to do so I'm kind of glad it ripped so I can show you what to do is draw a line from where the rip is from the top and we could simply cut that out and now we're just gonna literally be folding this side like that you see so it's still gonna work so just a little dab, some dabs of glue, and you're going to pull and close, right? And look at that. Oh my gosh, so cute. And for this one, I was thinking we could actually use a snowflake. Look at that. <laughs> it is so cute. And we have two cones that are done. So for something like this, you can actually cut the top of the cone like so and leave it open like this and you can use this put a dab of glue on the inside here and then you will slide it up like this and stick it on it looks really nice it's on top it it, it really presents really nicely when you put them together so for this one i used glitter foam board so you can buy foam board and this one is really big so i definitely used my handmade compass to cut this and you can make these huge amazing cones this one was actually made with gift paper so my son did some art and craft on a piece of bristol board so i'm, I'm literally showing you how you could sort of recycle some of your old craft supplies and it's amazing now this one is covered with fabric literally fabric look so you can buy really nice fabric and you can cover your cones with fabric and look at that pattern put a nice little pearl on top there they look so beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and continue making these
So another really cool one you can do is the one where we wrap string around an entire roll. So it also has ones like these. So you're taking something like this, which is a lace, and then you're getting your cone. So you're putting a dab of glue, sticking the end down like this, and then you'll just keep going around, putting glue dabs every now and again, every now and again. And then when you reach the other side, you just go up a notch. And you see how it gets two layers there? And then when you reach the other side, you just go up a notch, right? So you see three layers there. You go cute. Oh my god, I wish I had more. This is all I have at home, so I can't show you. But this is pretty much the same thing. See, it's going all the way up, and you put a nice ball at the top there. It's just, you know, it's just so cute, and it's just great for displays. So say you have a regular one like this. What we're gonna do is we are going to get some ribbon. So we got some red ribbon, and you'll start it at the back. Stick it down, and you have another gorgeous design for a cone. Thanks so much for joining me, as usual. And look at this one. You could add gems, and if you have a two-year-old, your gems are going to look like this, because he keeps picking them up. And this is a sample of the one with the ribbon. And they're fun. Make them. This is the cheapest craft on my channel, I think. Piece of paper and some glue, really. <laughs> no, the origami. Anyway, so again, thanks for joining me. I hope you tried. If you tried, leave me a comment. Make sure and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And uh, give me a thumbs up. And stay crafty, my friends. Merry Christmas.